Hello everyone, welcome back to Technocrat NJ. I am Namya here with my new video that is about the most important thing in today's world that is OneDrive, which is one of the application of Microsoft Office. And you need to have a Microsoft Office 365 ID to access it. So let's get going on it. So first of all, to sign in, you need to write login.microsoftonline.com and then this kind of screen will appear and you can sign in after having your own ID. Now as I'm signed in, I have this kind of screen. So we are going to start with OneDrive. So let's me, let me tell you something about OneDrive. It helps you to store access and even share your files in one place and it can be accessed from anywhere so let's get started we have to click on OneDrive and this kind of screen will appear so first of all let's get going by uploading a file if you have to save in it so you can either upload a file or a folder so let me tell you how you can upload a file this one and then i have to click on open and this file will be uploaded and then let me tell you like if you have too many files which you have to upload you can upload them once by clicking on the folder so let's take this one and click upon upload. So this folder will be uploaded and it shows you what all is being uploaded in this folder. And it's done. So if you want to create your own folder, you can click upon folder and then let me name it backup and then I have to click upon create and then by clicking on that folder I can upload files or a folder even so I hope you are clear till here now let's start if you have to share this file with someone so you can click upon share this dialog box will open and then you can enter a name or email address. We have to click upon share. Then anyone with the link can edit it. So first of all, let's write the email ID of that person. Like I'm choosing this one. And then you can click upon send. And then the link is sent. Now, adding few other details, you can click upon anyone with the link in edit or people in the school, people with existing access, specific people, your choice. If you want that person should edit it, you can click on a upon allow editing or if you want the person to preview it, you can uncheck it. Then, for set the expiry date, that means after this date, that person cannot use this file or view it. You can click, I'm taking dead December 25th. That means after this date, that person cannot use it. Then, to set the password, like you can choose any password of your choice. And for opening that file, the person needs to enter the password and then only he can access it. And then you can click upon apply or cancel if you don't want. So I hope you are clear. So this is very easy to share your files on OneDrive. Save your files on OneDrive and stay safe. This is Nama Joshi signing off. Bye. Please like and subscribe my channel.